Hey guys, me Steve, Cliff Finch Chevrolet. Today I want to talk to you about the vehicle that's right here beside me, the 2023 Chevrolet Malibu. You know, over the past several years, we've seen the industry shift from cars to SUVs, and especially within American manufacturing, you're really not seeing sedans around much. Even in the Chevrolet lineup alone, you've, you've seen that we've removed the Spark, the Cruze, the Sonic, the Impala, and the only sedan left in the Chevrolet lineup is the Chevy Malibu. Our sister company, Buick, has got rid of all their sedans, and really, the only other sedans you're finding that aren't EV in the General Motors lineup is under the Cadillac label. So I wanted to take a couple minutes today and go over why I love the Chevy Malibu, cars, long live the American family sedan. Let's get to it. First off, I just want to take a moment and uh, welcome everyone that's new to the channel. I've had a lot of new followers over the past several weeks. I want to send a shout out to my buddy Dave B over on his YouTube channel for giving me a shout out and it's really boosted 25, 50 followers on that shout out alone. So I just really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. Those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Steve Jacobson. I sell Chevrolets here at Cliff Industry Chevrolet located in Alpena, Michigan. We are a three generation family owned dealership here in Alpena, Michigan. Uh, they've been serving Northeast Michigan here for over 50 years. Super proud to be a part of the Cliff Institute's team here. We started this channel back in 2019 as a way to help sell vehicles to customers, to maybe answer some of the common questions that I find when I'm selling cars in my day to day life. But this channel has also turned into a resource for other salespeople to use to find out information and facts, um, sometimes some insight on some of the information that I find that I like to share. So it's really become a um, not only a sales thing, but a, as a sort of a resource and a reference guide. So welcome to the channel. I We only sell Chevrolets here, so you're mostly going to see Chevrolets. I am blessed to live in Michigan, so um, I try to take a yearly trip to the North American Auto Show uh, that's held here in Detroit. When my dealership has the opportunity, I usually try to go to the Finding New Roads thing that's coming up this spring, So, or sorry, that's coming up this summer. So hopefully I'll be able to go to that and just kind of get some get the jump on new information with Chevrolet, uh, new vehicles, and a lot of the updates that are coming out on, in the lineups. So today I want to talk to you about the 2023 Chevy Malibu. It's no secret now that the majority of consumers are, especially in America, are leaning toward SUVs. And the main difference that you're seeing in the 2023 Malibu versus the 2020 Malibu is we have four trim levels on the 2023 Malibu. We have an LS, the base model. Uh, RS, which is a sportier model, and then LT, and then the two LT. And what you saw is in 2022, we had a fifth trim level, the Premier, which also gave the opportunity to get the 2.0 nine-speed transmission. They have since deleted the Premier and the 2.0 for the 2023 model. And now we only have, like I said, the LS, RS, LT, 2LT, and we only had that 1.5 turbocharger engine paired right up with the CVT. So that 1.5 turbocharger engine gives you 163 horsepower. As I just mentioned, it's paired with the CVT, a continuously variable transmission. A lot of pros and cons, depending on what side of the aisle, for lack of a better term, that you sit, sit on, whether you like an automatic transmission or a CVT, but a lot of pros to the CVT. It's lighter than an automatic transmission, runs smoother than an automatic transmission, and that combination gets its better gas mileage on the Chevy Malibu. So right now you're looking at 29 on the highway, 36 on this model right here on the window sticker with a combined gas mileage of 32 miles per gallon. In the Chevrolet lineup, that's the best gas mileage that we have on an internal combustible engine. So in other words, anything that's not EV, the Chevy Malibu has the best gas mileage in our lineup today. So let's go over what's on this Chevy Malibu. A lot of things have now become standard. This is an LT. The LT also we have paired up with the leather pack. So you're gonna automatically get leather seats. You're gonna get a leather wrap steering wheel that's gonna be heated. You're gonna have a leather wrap, sh leather wrap shift 
leather wrapped shift knob. Sorry, I don't know why I struggled with that so badly. And then an auto rear, uh, the rear view mirror is auto dimming. That all comes with a leather package. So the 2023 Malibu now comes standard with the Chevy safety assist package, which gives you a whole suite of sa safety features now that are standard on the Malibu. This LT behind me sits on a set of 19 inch wheels. It does have the leather package. Whether you added the leather package or not on the LT, you know you're gonna get a remote start and heated seats. You have a great gorgeous eight inch Mylan touch screen system and that is on the Malibu where when you drop in a reverse, the rear view camera comes up. Another great feature on the 2023 Malibu is wireless Apple CarPlay. So you don't have to worry about tethering your phone if you want the Apple CarPlay to work. We know from 2016, this new generation of Malibu is introduced. We know that at the mid-sized sedan segment, it if it was any bigger, it would be considered a full-size sedan. So we know that we have a really spacious, roomy interior, and it's a rather big vehicle for a mid-sized sedan. Lastly, as we round out about the Chevy Malibu, we do, we do know um, it is a five-passenger vehicle with the latch system in the back. Speaking of the back, we know the seats fall down. The trunk is 15.7 cubic feet of space. Um, kind of average in the midsize sedan segment, but it is spacious and it is nice to see to do fold down if you have something a little bit bigger that you want to put into your Chevy Malibu. Lastly, June 21st, they'll start the production on the 2024 Chevy Malibu. Nothing really changing for the 2024 Malibu. The rumor, from my understanding, is the 2025 Malibu is supposed to change up a little bit. Personally, I'm hoping they put an all-wheel drive train with the Chevy Malibu finally. I really think it'd be a pop popular addition to the Malibu, especially living here in Northeast Michigan. I do know General Motors likes to say that all-wheel drive for its Cadillac, its top-tier nameplate. I do understand that. My understanding is with the new Malibu that's coming out in 2025, they plan on keeping that till 2031. So if you're going to keep the Malibu around for the next six years, let's add an all-wheel drive system to it, hopefully. I don't know. That's just my thought of what I'd like to see with the Chevy Malibu. I can see the Malibu growing strong at a great ass mileage. Um, we have a lot of sales people that have to travel around like the Malibu. The Malibu does meet needs of its users in the current landscape of the automobile market. So that's the Chevy Malibu. If you thought I did a good job of hyping up the great American sedan, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. Are you a sedan person or have you just given up and just switched over to the SUV? Let me know below if you're a car lover still, outside of like performance like Camaros and Corvettes and all the other stuff. Um, yeah, do me a favor, let's hype up the car crowd. I personally still own a cruise, so I personally love cars. I've always been a car guy, so that's kind of where I stand with it all. I know it's been a couple weeks since I did the video. I'm still a little hoarse, as you can kind of tell by my voice. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button to turn on notifications so you're notified every time I produce a video on the Chevrolet lineup. There are some videos coming down the pipe as well as I want to continue working on the driver information series that I started. Um, I'm hoping to do a Malibu one here soon as well. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll talk to you on the next one.